adventure with us and let's get going. Wow, the sun isn't even up yet. We're the only people waiting at the bus station at this early in the morning. <laughs> Here's our bus, bright and early. James has on his giraffe ears today. All ready for Animal Kingdom. Oh, look, the sun's starting to rise. I mean, we can't see the sunrise, but the sky's starting to get brighter. We left our room at 6.05 this morning. The bus picked us up at about 6.15ish. And we got here at 6.30. So now we have a half an hour until the early entry and we're basically just beelining it to Flight of Passage. Along with probably everybody else. Yeah, pretty much. But, you know, I don't expect there to be too many people here to be honest with you. This is really early. Oh, Animal Kingdom. I love the sign. Here is a uh, early theme park entry. Pandora is my favorite land in all of Disney World and it's because it is the land of waterfalls. Everywhere you look, there are waterfalls. There are even fake waterfalls. Waterfall. Waterfall. Waterfall and waterfall. I love the ambiance in here. Moving and grooving. Is that what we're doing? Yes. Moving and grooving. And this is hey John. James, can you groove again for me? That's him grooving. Flight of Passage is easily my favorite ride at Animal Kingdom, and I am looking forward to the next Avatar movie when it comes out. Check out the amazing mural. Super awesome. Link Chamber, let's watch this piece by Dr. Ogden, who runs the program. Welcome, everyone. I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora Conservation Initiative. Such a great ride. Such, such a great ride. If you've never done Flight of Passage, you need to. Awesome. Now we're going to head to Navi River Journey. It was our first lightning lane that we grabbed this morning. As soon as we scan in, we're gonna try to grab one for Kilimanjaro Safaris. The safaris did not open until eight o'clock today. Uh, even though early entry is 7 a.m. because the animals and everything, they have to be on their set schedule. So uh, 8 a.m. is the earliest that Kilimanjaro Safaris is running. It's about 7.45 right now. Looks like Navi is at a 40 minute wait right now, but we're gonna lightning lane it. Did I mention the ambiance? <laughs> I'm in my element here. This is this is amazing. I love it so much. Very nice, it's one of daddy's favorites too. Uh, at this point, Amy is doing a rider swap of Flight of Passage with James. Benjamin is not quite tall enough to ride it, and uh, so we got a rider switch pass. Now, usually in the past, you can take the person who sat out plus two guests. They recently changed that, we found out this morning, to the person who sat out and one guest. So that is a change from what they previously did. Amy just asked as she got in the line for the ride and they said that is across all the rides. That has nothing to do with, you know, being flight of passage and being more special than some other rides, that sort of thing. But keep in mind, if you're rider swapping, Disney did change the policy down from you and two guests to you and one guest. So plan accordingly. This is about 8.15 in the morning. Flight of passage is a 90 minute wait. The line, Offering all the way up there, down over here, probably all the way back towards Africa as well. Uh, coming here to Pangu Pangu in Pandora area of Animal Kingdom, and I'm gonna get the Night Blossom Slushy. So here is the Night Blossom Slushy from Pangu Pangu. Now it comes with boba balls, but I don't like boba balls, so I asked it for it without boba. 
And uh, what we have here is an apple and desert pear layered frozen drink. So I can't wait to give it a try. I think that purple might be the apple. The green is definitely the pear. I pulled the straw up a little bit and had a sip of both of them. Um, it's interesting, definitely a unique item. I don't think I've ever had an apple or pear frozen drink before. Um, yeah, this makes selection number three for Walt Disney World so far. And uh, anyway, I'm enjoying it, I love it. Amy got off of the rider swap. Now we're walking into the Africa area. We're gonna get a cinnamon roll for breakfast here this morning at the Kusafiri coffee shop. Uh, and you'll see that in just a minute. We do have a lightning lane for Kilimanjaro safaris, but it's not until 11.40. Uh, we snagged it right after we checked into Mavi River, but that's how far out they were already. So ideally we would have liked to have done it a little earlier. The standby line is already like 60 minutes though. That's a, a pretty popular ride. Navi is as well. So it was kind of a toss up on which one we wanted to do today. Uh, but we went with Navi since we were already in Pandora. But now we're like I said, we're gonna get some food and then probably, you know, work our way around to some other rides that have lower, shorter wait times. The uh, Kusafiri coffee shop is this little kind of like window in the wall. All right, well, here we go. We have our colossal cinnamon roll, shaped like Mickey, of course. And if I remember, Amy and I like split this and it filled us completely up. So this is definitely splittable for the whole family. And uh, we're excited to dig into it. Do that face again. I Don't eat it. <laughs> yum, yum. It's not too bad. I felt like it's a little bit drier than last time, but... We, we actually said it was a bit dry last time, too. One of the uh, cast members got creative with tree droppings. <laughs> well, we were going to go to Rafiki's Planet Watch next, but the first train does not depart until 9.30. So maybe we'll just go down the Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail next. It says it will close at 6.45 p.m. The Okapi is hiding. Can you see him? There he is. Now he's starting to come out the other side. This is for my buddy David from Big Red Journeys. Look, no bananas, sir. No bananas. Come inside to this little conservation center. I think they have some naked mole rats on the wall there. Oh, well, there's a whole bunch of them right there. What's this little guy doing? Are you like digging up dirt? Oh, look, another one appeared. Look at the cute little duck. Hello. How close are you going to let me get to you? Nope, not that close. No, thank you. No, thank you. Look at all the fish. A whole bunch of different types of fish in here. We got a blue fish and a yellow fish. There's a blue fish. He's coming back for more attention. There's a little yellow birdie. And I think that's the little yellow birdie's nest right up above him. More fish and a hippo. And there he is and there's lots of yeah. fish around him. Oh, we found the gorillas. This guy's got his back to us. There's one up there. He's eating. And then there's another one eating. This guy's on the move. Where's he going? Oh, the big guy's on the move. We found another one. He's sitting over here. We're actually on a suspension bridge right now. This is uh, where we are viewing that guy and you can see him. The little blip right there. This stream marks a rough boundary between the home range of a family troop of lowland gorillas and territory used by a bachelor or all male group. And here we have this uh, stream. Looks like the train to Rafiki's Planet Watch is about to begin. There's a 
queue of people already waiting here to get over so they can go to the conservation station. 55 minute wait back there at Kilimanjaro Safaris. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really does help out the channel. Then hit the subscribe button for more Walt Disney World videos. This is part of our Walt Disney World Vacation 2022 series. This is day two. There will be a total of nine vlogs and also eight food reviews. So be on the lookout for those on my channel. Heading to Harambe Theater because we're gonna go to Festival of the Lion King. Well, here we are getting all stood up. I feel like it's been forever since we've seen this show. It's like three years. I'm so excited. Safari, well done. We have been expecting you. Welcome to our on his giraffe headband. Oh, oh, we found Kevin! Oh, Kevin. Kevin, hi Kevin! Really Kevin is very tall. very tall. Kevin's huge. Well, we uh, we had fun at the Festival of the Lion. Benjamin, I think, loved it. Benjamin loved it. He loves music and like for about an hour, he's like, I want to do the lion show. And then right before, he's like, I don't want to do it. But then That's because we were sitting Yeah, we were just sitting there. <laughs> but once it started, I looked over and he's like, Ooh. Oh, he was having, he loves music. I wish the Nemo one was open. Yeah. We would go do that too. Um, I don't think the bug one has music, does it? Yeah. yeah. But we'll probably and still end up doing terrifies do kids. <laughs> well, maybe not then. Uh, anyway. Uh, we, we mobile ordered our food for Flame Tree Barbecue. More on that later. And right now we're going to Dinosaur for our Lightning Lane. After that, we're gonna book a Lightning Lane for Cali River Rapids. It looks like the Lightning Lanes for Everest are just a little too far out. They're two hours out. I don't really wanna to have to, to do the 120 minute rule again. We already did it once for Kilimanjaro Safari. That is that if you, if you book something more than two hours out, you can't book another reservation for two hours. And that's that's what that rule is. Um, so. Yeah, we're we're just gonna make do with what we have. Maybe single rider, ca uh, kill him. single rider Everest. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Next up is a dinosaur. Oh, T Rex, or some variation of him. It's the one with the oh, Carnotaurus. That's what it is. Hello there. Welcome to our little transdimensional joyride, folks. A little bit of insider information that the chemical makeups here on these pipes, these red, yellow, and white pipes are for ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise. And that is because uh, this ride used to be sponsored by McDonald's. James is all ready to go along with grandma. Amy and Benjamin stayed out. Benjamin can ride this, but he's just a little too uh, young for it. Benjamin was playing here in the boneyard with lots and lots of slides and fun things to do while we were riding dinosaur. What were you doing? I was playing. Were you playing? Yeah. Was it lots of fun? Yeah. Little dance parade going on over here. We're going to Flame Tree Barbecue, which is literally right across from all the noise. Well, now we are going to Flame Tree Barbecue. Here is a look at the pulled pork macaroni and cheese, baked macaroni and cheese. It also has an onion ring on top there. And uh, literally we all got this. Every single adult ordered this meal. Uh, it comes with coleslaw as well, but Amy and I asked for the slaw on the side. 
Um, and so this is what we got here at uh, Flame Tree Barbecue, and we're looking forward to it. We, we always pick this dining area to sit and enjoy because you can see Everest from here, and we really enjoy the view while we're eating our lunch. How was lunch? Good. You need to share a little bit more than that. I don't know. It's mac and cheese. What else is there to share? Well, was the pork tender? Yeah, was the, the was uh, onion rings good? Felt like the onion rings could have been a little bit bigger. Um, Mine was fine. My first one was great. The onion stayed in the ring. My second one, the onion, like, you know, when you take a bite and the whole onion falls out of the ring. Mm -hmm. That's what happened with my second one. So, um, but no, I think it, it was pretty good. Did you have to ask for the extra barbecue sauce? I did. Okay, so advice. Ask for extra barbecue sauce because yeah, they don't there give you wasn't a lot. much on it and it needed it. So. It definitely needed more. So ask for extra barbecue whenever you pick that up your be, food. Yeah, my well, it is finally time for our Kilimanjaro yeah, safari yeah. and it is 85 yeah, minutes for the standby up. wait. And the lightning lane is where we are going right over here. So I guess the benefit to getting a later lightning lane for this ride is that we get to skip 85 minutes which is awesome. If we'd have done it like first thing in the morning, we'd only skipped like maybe 15, 20 minutes. So I'll take 85, works for me. Bye, bye. Walking right by, don't mind me. Bye bye, see you later. And here we are right down at the loading station already. That was like uh, three minutes, something like that. Not bad at all. James got to see his giraffes. Yeah. So James said he saw 124 animals. Wow. We were counting them. Yeah, we were counting them, huh? Granted, we kind of estimated on the flamingos. Ah. But. Very fun, very fun. As we head into Asia, we pass Feathered Friends in Flight. I don't think I've ever done that show. Maybe, maybe Saturday. Right now we are headed to Everest and we're just going to single rider it. We were unsuccessful at getting a decent lightning lane for it. Of course, we could have taken one at pretty much any point that was about two hours out, but we were looking for something closer and it just stayed two hours out the whole time. Um, so we're going to single rider it and because James is seven and seven is the, the limit for single ridering. Uh, and Benjamin, since he's too small, can't ride it. Um, so that's what we're gonna do with that. And then we have a lightning lane for Cali River Rapids shortly thereafter. We also wanna get a snack in here somewhere before we head back to our resort to go to the pool today. It's time, buddy. Everest. All right. You've been waiting all day for this, haven't you? Yes. All right, well, we're about to do it.
time for Cali River Rapids Lightning Lane. It says it's up and around the corner here. Of course, I have the GoPro because I'm planning on it getting wet. Are you ready, Benjamin? Now he seems like sure. This it's is like shipwreck. Yeah, I remember from Shipwreck Rapids. We love shipwreck. Sea World. It's like that. <laughs> Did you get like the big wave, James? <laughs> I'll go get. Oh, <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? With the completion of Cali River Rapids, we are one refreshed and at two have ridden every single ride in Animal Kingdom except for Triceratops Spin. So, and it is one o'clock. I'd say mission well accomplished. Granted, we got here at 7 a.m. And technically, I didn't do Everest. So, yeah. Uh, but six hours and all the rides done at Animal Kingdom. The park is open till 8. So we have seven more hours if we wanted to. We already told you we're leaving. We're going to go to the pool. And then we're going straight to dinner from the pool, to, which is Boma. Yay! And you can look forward to a brief glimpse of Boma. Just with the Nine Dragons yesterday, we are going to do a separate full review of Boma that you can look out for. It'll probably actually already be on the channel long before this vlog is. But uh, if you haven't already, hit the like button. It really does help us out. It tells YouTube that you like this video and other people might enjoy it as well. And then hit the subscribe button to see more of our Walt Disney World vlogs. We have seven more days to go after this. Well, here it is, my uh, ice cream sandwich, and this thing is huge, and I just need to dive into it. This is going to be interesting. Mm. Mm. Oh boy, oh, it's slidey. Mm. 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 This is good. This is officially so messy, I just need to use a spoon. This is the Mickey. So, um, it's not going to be graceful, and I'm not going to film it anymore. <sighs> well, snack all done. Time to go back to the resort. Now, I will say I love ice cream sandwiches, and if there is one flaw with the Dino Bite ice cream sandwiches, is that the cookies are always very hard, and the ice cream is very soft. So you bite into them, and as you guys saw, the ice cream just goes everywhere. And when that happens, well, it kind of defeats the purpose of an ice cream sandwich. Call me weird, call me odd, but I prefer just the regular Nestle Toll House ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> yes, the ones that come in the yellow wrapper that you buy prepackaged from grocery stores or anywhere, really. <laughs> Those are my favorite type of ice cream sandwiches. All right, here we are, all dressed in pool stuff and headed to the pool. It is 2.30 in the afternoon. We have dinner reservations at five o'clock, so we have to be mindful. We have about an hour at the pool tops. Then we have to do some transportation gymnastics. We gotta get to a park to get to the Animal Kingdom Lodge because there's no resort to resort transportation. So we're gonna hop on the Skyliner over to Hollywood Studios. We don't have a ticket to Hollywood Studios. We're not going in Hollywood Studios, but we're gonna grab a bus to Animal Kingdom Lodge from Hollywood Studios. How about that? Oh boy, this floor is hot. Hot, hot, hot floor. Benji's in his life vest. And James knows how to swim. He just needs to remember how to. So let's get you in the water. And let's see if you can remember how to. Oh, this water is so warm. Oh, just instantly down in. No transition whatsoever. We're gonna come up here to this slide first. Okay, here we go, first slide. Come on, James.
I have not. Well, Benji didn't quite want to go down the slide. But that's okay. We're still having fun in the pool, right? Yeah. Whoa, did you splash me? <laughs> oh, you splashed me. You splashed me again. You splashed me again. <laughs> You're splashing me. Now we're over here at the little pirate boat. And this is for children under 48 inches. And it also has a, a dump bucket. So we're going to wait for the dump bucket to go. And Benjamin went down a little slide. Here it goes, here it goes. Well, here we go. Hello, Hollywood Studios. We are only here temporarily just to catch a bus to Animal Kingdom Lodge. We'll see you tomorrow. Jumbo. Coming in here to the Jumbo House, which is where you're gonna find Boma. Boma is where we will be eating this evening. Look at the rest of the resort as well. I mean, just look at this lobby. Isn't this one of the most amazing lobbies you have ever seen? All right, we're gonna head on in now. It's five o'clock and we got our text message. All right, well, here's what my plate looks like. And this are those things that we grabbed just all on the first station. <laughs> uh, on one station, I filled my plate with juicy goodness. I got pug juice, which if I remember correctly, is passion orange guava juice. We are gonna round out our evening with these beautiful, delectable, Domes of the Zebra. Before we leave, we're going to come into the gift shop here. The Zawadi Marketplace, I think is what it's called. The Animal Kingdom Lodge Jumbo Houses gift shop. A whole wall for pin trading in here at this gift shop. Of course, I always like to look at the mugs. So we're just checking out what mugs they have over here at the lodge. Oh, look, there's a Simba one at the bottom and a Pizza Planet, too. 6.45, we've made it back into Animal Kingdom after our dinner at Boma, and our tummies are very full. I can't even think about another snack, another drink, nothing right now. But uh, agenda, we need to check out some gift shops today. We booked an Everest Lightning Lane from 6.45 to 7.45. Uh, so just a thought on this, if you're coming to Animal Kingdom and you're gonna get Genie Plus, it looks like everyone booked their uh, Expedition Everest Genie Pluses early in the morning. And with Genie Plus, you can only do one time per experience, correct? Yeah. So everyone did Expedition Everest early this morning. It was like two and a half hours out. For the last hour and a half, it's five been minutes. five minutes out. But the line, the standby line is still 35, so 40 I minutes. I wonder if it really is. Because people have said that at night, they make it sound longer to like encourage you to leave the park. <laughs> Those are two possible options. We're not sure what we're going to do. We're going to have some mystery for you guys so that you don't just say, oh, I know what they're doing. I don't like sweatshirts, so I would never buy this, but I just love this Rebel Leader. Got some X-Wings there. Here's a, a model wearing it. Oh, and here's uh, some more Star Wars shirts. I love it. We are on the hunt for a Jurassic Jam shirt. It's now, we've, still have it. we've seen it lots of times. So I feel like it's a shirt that sticks around. Yeah. It's red and it has really tall, skinny giraffes. You and then it says, it, it says Giraffic Jam. And James really wants it. I think it might have been in Dino Land before. Yeah. So we're on the prowl. It's like knowing our luck, we're not gonna find it. Which is so sad because James absolutely loves giraffes nowadays. I know. Well, we can't come to Disney without doing Triceratops Spin. It's the last ride that we need to cover here today. Benjamin chose me. He always chooses me for the Dumbo type ride. And Amy is riding in the back seat. Uh, there's a stick 
for Amy and a stick for us. By stick, I mean this little thing. One of them goes up and down and the other one like tilts left and right or forward and back or something. I don't know which one does which. And then James and Grandma are further back. Here we go. Here we go. Up, baby, up, up, up. Help you out here, help you out. Uh, uh, uh. No, he doesn't want it. <laughs> he wants to be in control. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So while we were waiting in line, I didn't film her because I was literally standing right next to her. But the ride operator for oh, Triceratops Spin was totally singing the music. And she's like, shake your tail feathers and asking our kids to join in along. And she was so great. Uh, at Disney World, there is a button on the Disney app. It's not at Disneyland. We checked. But they have it at Disney World where you can provide cast compliments. So I clicked that, uh, navigated to the Dinoland attractions, typed in her name, her hometown, which you can get on the little name badges that they have. And then we uh, put that she was sharing exciting energy, something like that. And uh, supposedly, they like get a certificate saying yeah, you've received a cast compliment yeah, like this piece of paper thing and getting. maybe they even get like a bonus if they get enough of them or something i don't know exactly how it works but i i feel we should spread the love if a cast member is doing such a fantastic awesome job yes. so and we think disneyland should get this ability on their app yes too, disneyland so. get with the program <laughs> All right, well, it's 7.15 and we decided to come do Everest now instead of waiting till later. Because we're going to try, I think Amy said we're going to try to get on the last Kilimanjaro Safari maybe. I don't know. We're trying to figure stuff out tonight, but we're going to do fun stuff anyway. This is a beautiful sight right here. We're on a back path between Africa and Pandora. There's a little bird fanning his wings down there. Well, Flight of Passage is now up to a 60 minute wait, and I don't think we want to be in this park until nine. As much as I'd love to see it in the dark when it's all lit up, uh, Pandora area here, at just nine o'clock, we got up really early today. And so I think we're all just gonna go on Navi River Journey again. It's a 15 minute wait. And at least be after park closed by the time we get out. And uh, sunset's at 8.13, so it might start to get a little bit duskish around here. Wow. It's been a while since I've come through the standby of this. I like how all the lights are on as it's getting a little darker here in Animal Kingdom. Na, 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 na. We got to see Pandora at night. Is it just me or does anyone else think that that giant green egg thing looks like one of those eggs from the Godzilla movie from like 2006? Going for our nightly stroll over to the center. Yeah, we found the, the freestyle machine in the building next door, but we actually have a valid reason for going over to the center right now anyway. We did an Amazon Now order and had it shipped to guest services. But So you can do things like that. Just be aware there's like a $6 charge yeah, we're not to sure have things. Yeah, we're not sure if it's a bag or total, like well, we're, supply now. I mean, I only bought three things, yeah. so it shouldn't be three bags. Yeah. It should be like one bag. Uh, but. We are going to go to the center and we're going to get that Epcot fireworks going on. I hear a helicopter going overhead. Uh, Beautiful view of the Riviera. Oh, I I see. I my out. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. This pool looks like it would be really, really fun at night. It's like maybe one of these nights we should just bring the kids down for a late night. Like, you know, at eight o'clock maybe, but right when it starts to get dark. So I figured something out. Um, if you just order a package from Amazon, they'll just deliver it straight to your room. Which I was confused because when I asked them about my delivery from Amazon, they said, oh, it would have been dropped off straight in your room. And I'm like, 
I don't remember seeing a package in my room, but I wasn't looking for a package. So, um, when they clarified after they were looking for it and looking for it and looking for it and they couldn't find it, they're like, Where, is it groceries or a package? They said, oh, it's groceries. And they're like, oh, groceries. That's in a totally different spot. So they went and found it immediately. So uh, groceries you have to get from Bell Services. Uh, packages will be automatically delivered to your room. I'm gonna say goodbye here at my favorite spot in Pandora. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Again, if you haven't hit the like and subscribe button yet, please do so. It really, really helps. I appreciate it very much. If you're a trooper for making it all the way through this video. Hope you look forward to more Walt Disney World vlogs. We'll see you again next time.